Hey everybody, uh, Silvius, going to try to redeem myself with worms on Vandura Mountain. The last time I had an internet disconnect right away and then just croaked. So, <laughs> now that I'm at a place that I know has better internet, and I also now have a better bow, I figured I'd give it another go. It does seem, as I was walking here, that uh, it looks like there's a chance that somebody's already hunting here. Uh, oh geez, that's more worm than I wanted to deal with right now. Um, can I shoot them from over here? That'd be kind of cool if I could shoot them from over here. Eh, it doesn't look like it though. Anyway, oh yeah, geez. Can I, can I get them now? Alright, I can get them, but they can get me too. Which is not really great. Alright, well, one of them I can kind of deal with. Okay. I'm usually a little bit better at this than I am currently, but, you know, we're just going to roll with it. I keep seeing that other one that's up on the the next level, and it keeps freaking me out a little bit, because I keep thinking it's going to come down and get me. Alright. There we go. <laughs> oh, that's all messed up there. There we go. So yeah, it does look like somebody's currently hunting here. I'm going to hunt on top of them, if that's the case, because uh, odds are they're probably a bot, because I think like everybody that plays Tibia is a bot these days. Ugh. I was so excited about eating that dragon ham that I didn't pay any attention to that worm that was moving towards me. Just die. Ah, he healed himself. I didn't even realize that. I thought he was still trying to run away from me. Instead, he was running straight at me, which is the uh, the opposite of what I wanted to have happen. Alright. So I'm going to loop around the outskirts of this area before I go inside of it. And then I'll also try out that area where the um, the thing was, the earth elemental, and then I'll work my way up as well as I can. Ugh. You know, the last time I... Is that somebody's house? Huh. I didn't want to investigate that at some point. The last time I had planned on coming here, you know, after I killed two things and then died, I had brought... Um, energy walls so I could try to kill some of the behemoths that were on top. Because uh, behemoths will apparently not run through energy walls. However, I used all of them later on and then forgot to resupply on any of them. So now I don't have any energy walls. I'm pretty confident I can't kill a behemoth in a small enclosed space without an energy wall. Lightning pendant's kind of cool. I may consider using that Utura. Let's see. Three. Four. Five. Six. Uh, that was a weak one. Seven. Took me seven arrows to kill that one. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Now that one went a lot better, I think. I'm using a life ring right now in case that wasn't obvious when I equipped it. Energy elemental. One of the few elementals that don't inherently suck the fight. To be fair, uh, water elementals aren't actually all that bad. It's the earth elementals that suck the most. They're like a joke dangerous in like every way they hit hard in melee they hit hard in ranged attacks they light you on fire and then they don't drop any loot nor do they give good exp i don't really know what the uh how far i can run a worm here before they start uh oh hey two diamonds nice a bunch of potions too <laughs> this is kind of awesome especially for things that aren't hurting me at all well besides their ranged attacks i guess
the uh, other side here is part of the quest that lets you go to the like Shattered Islands, Myrnia or whatever it's called. I'm trying to use these health potions because I don't have health potions hotkeyed on Sylvius. Probably help if I had actually clicked on it there. I pick them up and I figure I might as well use them and then I kind of forget that they exist. There we go. I got to use one. Hurrah. Walk. Utura. I do, I do still want to keep Utura. See, I'm like carrying around a like semi-large amount of healing potions that I have no intention of actually using at any given point. And now I'm just kind of getting more of them. This is going to be one of those weird occurrences where I, uh, I leave with more potions than I started with. <laughs> Not that I'm complaining, though. Also, while I said it looked like somebody was here, maybe they just went straight up to like one of the higher levels, because I'm not seeing any indications on this level that anybody's currently hunting here. It's a shame that uh, the point where I would consider using flash arrows for pretty much any reason has long since passed. Actually, I can check that while I'm here. Let's go uh, check those. What's the power of a flash arrow? Why will it not tell me what their actual power is? Ugh, I don't care. I know it would be far, far less than the attack power of my crystalline arrows, and uh, unless something was like takes three times as much damage from an energy attack, it's not worth it. Ooh, wow, not paying attention. It's one of the weird, like, weaknesses. Oh my god, I can't tell what I'm running into. <laughs> I meant to go down this tunnel and I totally missed it. Yeah, the the map is not, or, like, the camera is not often a tibian weakness, but I definitely thought the path was down here, which is why I ran into that wall. And then, yeah, you can only see five tiles up, but you can see seven tiles to the sides, so it makes going up a little bit more dangerous than going to the sides. Might as well Utura here. Finish him off with that. I kind of need to check and see if there's a, an element that worms won't run through. Presumably, it's not, uh, it's not electricity, because they're shooting electrical attacks at me. And I doubt it's, uh, poison, because literally nothing is resist or weak to poison. I'm also pretty confident that worms are not weak to poison, because I looked into it before, hoping that I could use, uh, envenomed arrows to fight them. Nope. It's like a sick joke of, uh, the Tibia developers to make the, the level 70 arrows earth-based. I mean, for one, it was stupid to make them elemental-based in the first place, but, like, if they were going to make them elemental-based, like, why not fire? Why not electricity? Why not anything but earth? There's not even, like, a logical reason why they would have been earth. Like, Paladins aren't particularly earth-based. That's, uh, well into the Druid's territory. Bam. Sure, again. I'm just gonna do this in the uh, more awkward way, I suppose. <laughs> Ugh. Don't want two of them on me at once. Oh, well, now I don't have two of them on me. I did kill worms once or twice with uh, my knight Dao Dao, so I know I can do it. But they are very potent me melee opponents. 
And they are not terribly fun for knights to fight. Look at all those flash arrows. Crystal swords, I think, sell for 500 to Rashid. I think. Yeah, that wave doesn't even deal all that much damage, which is awesome. Ah, uh, man. He ran right out where I didn't want him to go. <laughs> then only dropped 29 gold. What a loser. Alright, we'll kind of go down this way, I guess, now. Hey, look, it's a worm! For some reason, uh, the fact that they're that, like, fuchsia, magenta, like, purplish-pink color, I'm not sure exactly what it is, they just look really cool to me. Also, they're, like, functionally a l sort of similar to giant spiders, at least for my particular hunting strategy. Tura! I have to say, uh, one of the, like, weaknesses to being a paladin and then playing any other vocation, or at least going from paladin to knight, is, uh, you go from, like, not taking any melee damage ever to then suddenly taking melee damage, uh, and because I never let things hit me in the first place, I have no idea how actually, like, damaging they are or how dangerous they are. So I'm, I'm considering as I was, like, will eventually try going upstairs here, uh, I'm considering if I can just, like, let a worm keep hitting me while I try to kill it, and I don't know if I can actually do that or not without it, like, destroying me. Time to take my, uh, life ring off, I think. I think we're kind of good on that end. Ah, oh, jeez. So many potions. Yeah, it was, uh, like, ice golems and crystal spiders that were also always dropping potions, and that was always kind of cool, too. I would go in there with a bunch of potions and then come back with more than I actually uh, started with. All I'm seeing are uh, crossbows as item loot here, though. Alright, well this is essentially it for level 1 of this place. I wanna mo- whoop. <laughs> I gotta- I gotta stop, like, taking my eyes off the actual, like, screen when, uh, I'm moving up or down. Cause that's the, like, the third time now that I haven't really been paying attention, and then almost ran straight into a worm. Alright. We're gonna go here real quick. Kill the Earth Elemental. I think Earth Elementals have pretty heavy uh, resistance to physical. And they poison. I hate things that poison. Alright, real quick, I'm going to pause my recording to check and see if uh, worms don't run through elements. Wiki says worms will run through everything. Fire fields, poison fields, uh, and energy fields. Alright, now it does look like somebody's actually hunting here, because that's dead. Those are all dead. And there's the person. Huh. Guess he's done. Sorcerers do good on uh, Earth Elementals, because they uh, are weak to fire. Which doesn't make sense to me, because, you know, it is like a giant mass of dirt, and I'm not sure why that would be weak to being lit on fire, but apparently it is. Lumps of earth are worth it. I don't know about the rusty armor, so I'm just gonna not bother with it. Oh, I did not take the life ring off? I, th I was positive I took the life ring off. These guys are easy enough for a paladin to kill. They do, I think, paralyze, which is annoying. The biggest problem, though, is just that they take uh, reduced physical damage. 
Maybe I could have actually brought some of those flash errors and used those. I hate using a uh, <laughs> an arrow or a bolt when they're down to like a tiny, tiny sliver of HP. I like the <laughs> it just bothers me. Alright. Tran oh no, not a tarantula. Night Stalker. Yeah, this is the first time I encountered the first place I encountered Night Stalkers, and they scared the Bajoneses out of me. Unlike the time in my uh, my cemetery quarter hunt. Hey, look at that. Might as well just take that with me. Yeah, unlike the time in the cemetery quarter when I ran into him. When I ran into him here, it was a... Uh, what the? Instead of turning into a Grim Reaper, they had turned into one of the like vampire lords. And I had just been looking those up to see like where I could hunt them at and if they were worthwhile. So that scared the Bajoneses out of me. Bajoneses out of me. There we go. I suspect that they probably wouldn't run through a fire. Oh god, I'm running into a rock. I do that so much. <laughs> Just run into things that are immobile and don't realize it. And then I'm like, why am I moving forward? Why? Oh, I'm running into rocks. Stones. Rubble. Those are the two things I was really into. Not getting much of anything off of these guys besides lumps of dirt and gold. Not that I'm necessarily complaining. But I think we could probably do a little bit better. Paralyzed. Earth arrows. Those serve me close to zero purpose. They're significantly worse than Envenomed Arrows, but have all the same problems as Envenomed Arrows. Can I... Okay, I can go south to that one. I don't really know what that wave does, but it's got some pretty big... Uh, I'm sorry, that beam. But it's got some pretty hefty range. Load. 648. Whoops. I wonder what drops the brown mushrooms. Also, kind of wonder how many brown mushrooms I've just walked past at this point. Now, I kind of would have figured that that sorcerer would have killed that one and was not expecting it to be alive. did kill the ones down here, except for that one. wonder if that sorcerer is a bot or not. It's unfortunate that on non-PVP worlds, botting is such a uh, pressing issue, since nobody can actually kill the bots. They have, like, free reign. And according to what I hear, a limp is kind of the worst. Ugh, a bone beast. Ugh, not being able to see what I'm doing. He strikes me as a bot, I don't know. Let's see which way he went, and then I'll go the opposite way. Alright, he must have gone north, so I'll go south. Oh, come on, I didn't want to get poisoned again. Oh, 
Ah, oh, jeez. Poisoned again. I hate getting poisoned. This is probably not a great spot to be hunting bone beasts, uh, if you wanted to try to task bone beast here, just for the record. I feel like there's probably way better spots. There's not enough bone beast, and everything else here is kind of dangerous. It's not worth my time to wait 10 seconds to try to skin it so that I can get like a 5% chance of successfully getting a 70 gold item. No thanks. There are, yeah, there are, ugh. There are giant spiders here. Kind of annoying that that giant spider decided to show up right as that Night Stalker decided to paralyze me. Look at all the mana potions I'm grabbing from this. Alright, Xana pox myself, Utura myself. There's only a few giant spiders down here, though. Not a lot of them. Seriously! I, I stop looking at the screen, I look at the map to kind of, like, figure out where I can go, don't pay attention, run straight into a Night Stalker. Nothing. Lame. Dude's definitely a bot, by the way. I guess he probably all the way... Yeah, he went down here. Alright, well. I guess there's some wyverns here. Let's see what else is on the floor. Oh, hey, okay, I guess he didn't go down here. Unless he thinks he can't fight a giant spider. And his bot, like, does not... Oh, uh, I just walked into a dead end, did I not? Yeah, I guess his, he's not confident his bot can handle giant spiders. That's kind of hilarious. Well, also, his goal probably is to make money here, which is why he's here in the first place, not uh, to get EXP or to task or anything. He's probably farming gold so that he can sell it to a gold-selling website, make himself like five bucks or something like that. There's a, uh... Seriously, that poison wave hit me. There's a guild on this world. Uh, they're called, like, the Dashers. Um, and I guess, apparently, according to the, what the people in the forum say, the Dashers just make an actual living by botting characters all the time. And, um, selling the gold. They level up some characters, sell them to people who want a high-level character. Uh, they buy new characters whenever they get deleted, and then just transfer them to Olympa. Uh, they basically bought, like, all the high-end locations and stuff like that. On the upside, they hunt, they bought the high-end, like, Roshmal and, uh, Orman kind of spots. Not the, like, not anywhere I would ever be going, in other words. Uh, whatever, I'll just let him hit me. I don't care. Alright, so that was that spot. Ugh. Ugh. Because these aren't hotkeyed, I have a hard time, like, rapidly hitting them. You can go die now, friend. Alright. We'll see how effective I can be at going up the stairs. It seems like the answer is going to be not very effective. Alright, I kind of want to kill her. I kind of want to make sure that there's none actually near me before I go up there. Actually, is there any other location I could go up? No, nah, it doesn't look like there's any other way I could get up there. Unless on the back side of this place I could, uh, like, levitate up somewhere. It's 
it's worth uh, considering. Ah, he got me. Suppose if I had brought like assassin stars and um, hey, wanted a draconia. That's kind of worth nothing, but whatever. Yeah, I was considering if I had brought assassin stars and maybe my mastermind shield, I could kind of just block them. But that seems like it's not going to be great. Yeah, I kind of can't even like kind of grind them down because they heal. Hmm. Yeah, I might not be able to do this. As unhappy as it makes me, I might not be able to do this. Alright, well, if I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna keep trying. I mean, I almost got the one dead. Almost. <laughs> I mean, you know, like, I thought maybe I could pull it off with two of them, but I don't know, three of them seems... <laughs> Alright. This might be possible. It might be possible. Is there another one to the north? Okay, I should... I should just run to the north, it looks like. Oh, did I just lure one down? Crap. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. Success, sort of. <sighs> Crap. They're a little bit uh, denser up here than I would like them to be. Density is uh, not good for paladins, let me tell you. Also, the fact that that one respawned right there is also not really great. Yeah, I'm quickly getting into the position where, like... To flee from this location, I will need to run down into where more of them are, which is not really great. I don't want to go inside of this yet. I want to stick to the outskirts. What's up here? Nothing? I feel like that can't be. <laughs> there can't just be nothing up here. Oh, hey, it's a behemoth. Fun fact about behemoths is that they don't heal, so I can, in theory, just whittle him down. Also on the topic of behemoths, I have managed to kill a behemoth by, like, grinding it down furiously on uh, Dow Dow, but I have never killed a behemoth on Sylvius yet. Also, totally would have been able to get that behemoth if I had energy fields before I'd gone up there. <laughs> oh, nice. So it's a dead end down here. That's really good to know, actually. Yeah, I could have thrown an energy field right up there when I first went up and prevented him from getting to me. Missed that opportunity. Alright, 
Let's check around the top section here. Saw that behemoth, freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if I can outrun behemoths or not. I do know that while a behemoth is hitting me with ranged attacks and potentially I'm not capable of outrunning it, I definitely do not want to run back into a mass of worms. I wish I'd remember to bring uh, energy walls. It's gonna be my like big regret of the day. Also, I'm not even sure how effectively I can run behemoths, even with an energy wall. I would have tried with an energy wall, though, is the important part. Ah, he ran into a dead end and got stuck. What an idiot. I'm also checking to see if there's a spot I can levitate up here anywhere, but it does not look like it. Mm. Fighting two of anything that's like semi-fast and that I definitely do not want to be near and that also runs at low HP is kind of annoying. But he's dead, so whatever. Crap. Well, I was outsmarted by a giant pink AI lizard. Congrats, Mr. Pink Lizard. Another wand of Draconia. That thing that, again, sort of has no purpose. Alright. I can't even remember how much they sell to, to an NPC. I was kind of hoping for, like, a composite hornbow as loot. Ah, oh, jeez. Ah, uh, jeez. That's kind of the thing that uh, scares me, by the way. <laughs> At least I killed him. To be fair, that situation was largely my fault, because I didn't realize there was an opening in the mountain down there at first, so I didn't I was, like, moving close to it while not being cautious. Which is never a good thing to do. And yeah, it doesn't look like there's any spot I can levitate down from this level. I was hoping I could bypass the situation of trying to fight multiples of them in that tiny spot. But nope, doesn't look like it. Now let's go see what's up this staircase after I kill this guy. How am I on? Okay, I have 450. I think that's sufficient. Oh, let's take a peek what's up the staircase. Oh! <laughs> Not going anywhere near a Medusa. Medusa's hit for large amounts of damage. Ugh. Good thing uh, enough of that hallway was only one tile big so that the first worm kind of blocked his friends. Ah, uh, I'm running into a rock! A mossy stone. Ah, oh, jeez. And that one spawned behind me. At least they're not, like, super damaging for that, like, split second that I need to let them touch me in melee. Nine gold. Are you kidding me? Hmm. 
Yeah, Medusas are like 4,000 EXP monsters. I don't want to go anywhere near them. And I also know that they have, like, they do massive amounts of damage. I don't know how common it is. I'm just basing this off of what I saw in the wiki. But what I saw in the wiki made me be pretty confident that I don't want to go anywhere near them. That said, I'm pretty sure there's like a mini quest up there. I'm also pretty sure that Medusa is solo up there too. Maybe uh, when I get out of here and go to buy uh, my energy wall rune so that I can try to... Oh, uh, jeez. A rock again. So I can try to play with the behemoths. I'll check and see if Medusa's won't run through anything. Another uh, lightning amulet. So I should drink one of these. Let's see what's up this staircase. Okay! <laughs> what's up that staircase is a small tiny room with a behemoth in it. We do not play that game. Worm outside. I do not want to go out there in case anything respawned. I could, in theory, equip those uh, lightning amulets and use them as like some protection against the energy attacks, but I don't care. I'm gonna sell them to an NPC for I think, I think 2.5k, uh, and he buys them at full price regardless of how many charges are on them. But I still don't care. So it's just him, and he's right there. Okay, that worked. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go back into town, buy some energy wall runes, and try to go kill some behemoths. I make no, uh, I make no pro promises on that. Just for the record. If I get up there and it turns out that the behemoth is too fast or I don't have enough space or something like that, I'm not going to play with the behemoth. I'm just going to leave. Probably. I make, I've been known to make poor decisions in the past, so I mean, you know, it's kind of hard to say. Alright, I will pause here and then come back with my supplies. Okay, I'm back. That took slightly longer than I thought because I could not figure out where to buy more arrows in Liberty Bay. But, anyway. My research indicates that I should not let this energy elemental hit me. But besides that, it indicates that <sighs> Medusas will not run through energy or fire field runes. Uh, they heal, though, which might make that a little bit complicated to work them out there. They do hit incredibly hard, but most of that is through melee and also a wave attack that I think I can probably dodge reliably. Ah, oh, Jesus. You know, I did just, like, literally just walk up here, right? <laughs> and there was nothing there. Oh, my God. Alright, that's annoying. We're gonna go up the other entrance. So, I am going to try the Medusa. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Because so I think I can keep, uh, I can keep her uh, wave dodged if I, you know, utilize... Uh, field runes. Walls. And I'm pretty confident... I mean, if I'm not letting her melee me, I think that's also pretty good. What poisoned me? Oh, I guess the wasps poisoned me. Yep, yeah, you're stupid. Let's kill this guy. There we go. 
Ugh. Better put that in there. Alright. Now we get these worms. Oh boy. The worst part about the staircase is how the positions of these like bushes and this rock make it so that they kind of stay in a spot where they can hit me with their waves. Like, exclusively. Life ring on. Is that the. Uh... There we go. We can run him around here. Ring around the snake nest brush. <laughs> ring around the snake. Oh, it's running crap. There we go. It's not running anymore. Alright. I think there's one more. Yep, there's one more. Oh, he tried to trick me out. You see that? But I'm smarter than him. Because I'm not AI controlled. You know, what if I really was? You're talking to, like, the lamest Terminator robot in the world right now? Well, you're not talking to me, you're listening to me. Same difference, though, I think. No, don't go inside. Alright. Alright, Mr. Friendly Behemoth. I am nervous. <laughs> And he's still standing right there. Are you kidding me? Oh god. I went to click on this worm, and then I guess I got close enough to the wall there that I could see three others. And then all of a sudden had no idea which one was the right one, and also was panicking because I did not want to take three of them on me. I'll come back here. Well, this is annoying. There we go. I really wish I hadn't lured that behemoth to right there earlier. I'm gonna have to just, like, let him hit me while I go up. Ugh, how bad is he gonna hit me? That was absolutely not what I meant to do, by the way. Because he's just gonna do that. <laughs> This is going to not be at all the smooth operation that I was hoping it would be. At least I'm, like, killing him. <laughs> I mean, this is retarded, but at least I'm killing him. Crap. Health potion here. Yay. <laughs> I got an assassin star, two platinum pieces, uh, a crystal necklace, and some gold coins. What's up here? Oh boy. Alright, yeah. I don't want to fight two of them at once. Sorry. No can do on that. Oh, dude. Did I block it again? Crap. <laughs> oh boy. That was, uh, not smooth.
Yeah, I should have been a little bit more cautious when I was running up there. And I definitely was not. Sick. 105 gold coins. I spent way more than that in uh, arrows, but whatever. This is actually not a bad spot to have one of them, because it's got multiple diagonal steps. Fortunately, when I had two of them, they ended up blocking each other, and then one went in the opposite direction. Which made this all of a sudden a horrible spot to have them. Ah! Ah! <laughs> and that is why I don't like using energy walls. Just for the record. Oh, he got me there, too. Why do you just stand still for a second? Crap, I blocked it again. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing him under there. I forgot that once he goes through the energy field once, he's more inclined to do it a second time. So, I mean, this would be probably going a lot smoother if I wasn't screwing it up left and right. <laughs> just, just on that note. Because I am definitely screwing it up left and right. Hey, I like things that drop meat. It's a shame I don't really have a viable strategy for uh, trying to take two of them at once. I'm not even sure if I can, like, safely live long enough to, uh, place down my wall. Alright, well, that looks like everything that's up on this level. So the only other spot I can go is up where two of them are at once. I could, in theory, kill that one once it respawns. Not the Medusa, the Behemoth. And uh, this wall is not going to last much longer because the other one... Yep, there it goes. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, see, like, the firewalls at least kind of indicate a little bit that they're about to die and you're about to get, like, your face ripped apart. The, uh, the energy walls just die. <laughs> Ah. All right, I gotta pause real quick. That was a particularly poor time for my phone to ring. Let me tell you. All right, let's kill this guy. This lizard. And I want to kill this behemoth. It will happen. Okay. Yeah, my, my HP just goes down so fast on those, it's very scary. Also, just kind of like watching the Medusa do its Medusa and thing over there is kind of freaking me out a little bit too. On a side note, uh, like I started playing Tibia before all the like new demons existed. 
And I think that was back when, like, the top three monsters were demons, behemoths, and warlocks. So, I have not killed a, uh, a warlock yet, although I probably could. i just not excited about trying. So yeah, I have not killed a uh, warlock yet, and I have not killed a demon, but I can now add behemoths onto my list of things that I've murdered. Which is cool. I know they're not the top three anymore, but they were the top three at one point in time. And now I've owned them. And I even killed them on my night Dowdow, although that was less of killing them, more of like popping up, hitting Brutal Strike and making them bleed with Inflict Wounds, and then popping back down until it died. Eh, Assassin Stars, whatever. Damn it, I did that again. Why am I having such a hard time putting down an energy wall there? Oh boy. I did not realize I was that low on mana. When did that happen? Alright. I think that's enough behemoth fun time for me right now. Uh, of course he respawned. So I'm going to go head on over to the, uh, the who's a and the watch a The Medusa. So on a side note, though, well, like, I don't think I've profited in any real way on this hunt. Um, oh god, I did not see him. Was not watching the battle window. <laughs> um, yeah, so while I did not profit, as far as I can tell, on this, uh, on this hunt, I found out that I can hunt worms, so I mean, that's good in its own special way. And unlike the last time where I tried hunting here, I didn't die. So that's also good in its own little special way. Yeah, it's a shame that my cross or my arrows are just uh, significantly more expensive than they used to be. kill this guy. Can't run him too far because I don't know where exactly his friends are located. There we go. Wait, was the Medusa... Oh, the Medusa was up a level. I'm an idiot. Alright, well let me just kill these two and then I'll take care of that real quick. For some reason, I thought I had to loop around on this level to get to where the Medusa was. And it is, uh, not. Alright. I'm gonna pause here real quick and double check my information on Medusa. <laughs> okay, I'm back to go hunt down a Medusa. The cool thing about pausing these recordings is that you guys have no long was that idea you have no idea how long it was actually paused for. For all you know, it's been like four days that I've just left this game running. Well, I mean, obviously I didn't leave an MMO running. Looks like somebody else might be hunting here, because I saw a blood splatter that I don't remember creating. That's already beginning to fade, no less. Alright, well, it doesn't matter. Hey, it's level 81 Elite Knight. I really sincerely hope he killed the things that are on this level. Alrighty. Because I can, I think I want to go kill the behemoths one more time, just for the heck of it. Yeah, I think I'm going to. I mean, I got the energy walls and they kind of serve me no other purpose, so I might as well.
Bam! Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely kind of, like, losing out on profit here. My arrows are just way too expensive for this to be profitable. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Yeah, 140 gold spent in arrows, and I got 94 back. It's whatever, though, I suppose. I mean, like, you know, in the grand scheme of things, what matters? Who cares? Now, it'd be cool if, uh... I've been here for a while now. And it would be kind of cool if, if I had looted anything, like, legitimately worthwhile. I'm not exactly sure what these guys can drop in the first place, but I'm sure they can... Hey, I leveled up. That's cool. Hey, I gotta pause to screenshot that one second. Okay. Screenshot made. Now let's play with Mr. Behemoth, shall we? Oh my god. I am an idiot. I mean, like, how hard is it for me to just put those in a straight line? Ugh. Seriously, I cannot believe I did that. Behemoths, however, seem to be pretty profitable, I think. Now, keep in mind, I... You had to use two walls because I'm an idiot. But I mean, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't have needed to use two walls. So I think one wall is like 80. Oh, Jesus. Okay. One wall is like 83 gold, I think. Well, as an upside to this screwed up uh, wall setup here, at least I'll know because the diagonal wall will go away first. So I'll know when the other one's about to go. Two-handed sword. I saw, like, the word sword and was like, Oh man, oh man, did I get a giant sword? Oh man. Nah, I didn't get a giant sword. Of course I didn't get a giant sword. I don't get anything cool. Okay. I re-put down the uh, wall hopefully successfully. <clears throat> Whoops. Not paying attention. I think on the next behemoth I need to pay attention to how many uh, errors I use. Okay, well, that one was not profitable. Okay. A bee. The fact that there's uh, additional ones underneath, like, here, keeps kind of freaking me out, because I keep seeing the extra name and being like, oh my god, I can't do two of these at once. I can barely do one of these at once. Those boulder hits are nothing to laugh at. I kind of wish they were a little bit slower so I can get a good look at their face, because they do look kind of cool. Alright, so yeah, that took 18... I don't know what a Battlestone is. <clears throat> 18, so that's almost... Uh... <sighs> Man, I remember back when I was, like, decent at math. Eighteen times twenty? Oh my god, six. Okay, yeah. So that's three hundred and sixty gold worth of uh, bolts or arrows I used, and I got four hundred and. All right, so yeah, I mean, you know, profit, whatever. Oh, there's three up there. I'm glad I did not try going up there before.
Come on, there should be one up here. There it is. You know, come to think of it, I could probably just run them around in circles here. I do appear to be faster than them by a wide margin. The only problem with that strategy, of course, being the fact that, uh... If one of them respawns, I will have some serious problems. And I didn't bother checking the amount of money I spent in arrows on that one. None left. Two of them up there, but just nothing I can really do about that. I don't know how I would go about trying to fight two of them at once. Unfortunately. Ooh! <laughs> I just went up there to see what it would be like. Thought it would be funny. Alright, yeah, I guess we're done here. I'll hit them again on my way out, I think. But that's kind of all I can do right now. Let's kill this worm. Ugh, he got me. He got me! He got me again! Ah, crap, he's got friends! Oh, even worse. That was not the button I meant to push. Hey, how funny would it be if I died right now? Okay, how did I get another one on me? Well, that could have probably have gone better in various ways. <laughs> oh, nothing on that other one, too? What a piece of crap. That sucked. Significantly. I mean, the end goal here is just to go play with the uh, Medusa, so we'll just go play with the Medusa. And on my way back, I'll go play with the Behemoths one last time. Alright, we are at the cave entrance. No, get back here. No, not that far back here. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> One. That was a nice hit, too. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Uh, I should have just killed him with a spell. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Alright. I need to change my hotkeys for Mrs. Medusa here. Well, I'm thinking I might want to make sure, yeah, that there's not just a worm standing right up there. Oh, I juked him. Oh, yeah. I juked him. Okay. 
still want to peek my head up just a little bit to make sure. Not up the stairs. Just, like, over here to make sure that there aren't. Why are there more brown mushrooms just laying on the floor? Are those, like, daily spawns, perhaps? Look, look there's another one, too. How did that happen? <laughs> I just went through there. We're gonna want to make sure my HP is and my mana are probably completely full before I go up there in the first place. But yeah. All right. Whoops. There's a worm. Doesn't look like there's any up there, so I think I'm good here. Whoops. There we go. All right. Okay. It's almost go time. I gotta switch those hotkeys. So I want to take off energy walls and replace it with firewalls because the wiki tells me Medusas won't run through fire. And I hope to God the wiki's not lying to me. All right, let's 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 do this. Oh God, why is she? Right there? <laughs> what? Why was she right at the stairs? Oh my god. Alright. That was awesome. The best part was, I definitely like just shot up the stairs directly into the position where she could have waved me, meleeed me, and uh, like hit me with all of her other spells and then just killed me. Now I gotta go back up and see if I can lure her clo away from the stairs. <laughs> That was, uh, to be fair, that was kind of awesome. I gotta give that. I gotta give that situation its credit where credit is due. Because why was she standing right at the stairs? I don't understand. Oh, I don't know if a hibiscus dress is worth anything, but it's kind of cool, I guess, that I looted it. Alright. I mean, come on. Like, th that was retarded. <laughs> like, I got, I got nothing to say about that situation. Why was she there? I po- like, I saw her previously. Oh my god. I don't want to keep fighting worms either right now. So now I gotta go back up with the behemoth, try to get her away from the stairs, run back down, kill all the worms, go back up, rinse and repeat. I guess I could, in theory, rely on my energy ring to keep myself alive long enough to put down the... Because that, that's the thing, I need to get the wall down right away. Um, and once the wall's down, I think I'm like, I'm kind of good. But until the wall goes down, I'm definitely not good. What did I just do? Select object. There we go. Oh my god. It's like I'm an idiot. Like, like, how do I keep screwing this up? I don't understand. I, to, honest to God, do not understand how I keep screwing this up. I even, for a second there, realized I was going at a diagonal, and was like, wait, if I, if I go up here, it'll make it diagonal and block off this passage away. I can't, I can't let that happen. And then, like, deliberately moved it into such a position that I did it anyway. Ugh, 
Uh, I let him hit me there. Why does he sometimes, like, stop? Well, that one was not profitable, that's for sure. Now the Medusa's all the way over where I don't want her to be. I was kind of hoping she would, like, come over to this side, and she's not. So yeah, my concern with the Medusa is that she'll kill me before I can put the wall up, and uh, I'll like never get my chance to actually start dodging her. Maybe if I use my energy ring, I can get the wall up and then pop back down and like fully heal myself up. That might be my game plan, I think. I don't know if behemoths are like resistant to physical or not. I also don't know if they're resistant to um, divine or not. She is, like, right there, I guess, at the spot where I don't want her to be, which is awesome. And I think that's the quest item, the, that pile of bones right there. Alright. We're gonna, we're gonna try again. I'm gonna use the energy ring. Am I? Oh, I did work my way through my boosted EXP time without even realizing it. Check that out. It would have been kind of cool to get the Medusa while I was still in boosted EXP time, but whatever. Ah, crap. I'm gonna lure him up on me, too. Probably. Well, I lured him, also. Oh, I'm running into a rock. Oh, okay, that's bad. <laughs> that was a whoops moment. kill him, because I don't want him coming over to play. <clears throat> Regrettably, I think this video is kind of dragging on at this point, so if I decide that the Medusa can't be done this time around, I'm just not going to try anymore, because I'm not going to just spend, like, an extra hour here. Regrettably, we'll have to just decide that I can't kill Medusa. You know what? I apologize, but I'm going to make the Medusa into its own separate video, I think. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I apologize, but now I'm just going to head back out, and then I'll end this video once I kind of get out. On the upside, I'm only kind of going to right about here to end this video. Alrighty. So that video is done. Uh, like, comment, favorite, subscribe. And I apologize for the letdown with the uh, Medusa. I will immediately go back and try to do it. I just wanted to make the Medusa as a separate video.